Hello everyone, it's Ross, and I got another fig uh, tasting video for you guys. And this is a variety called Negretta Unknown. And the story behind this fig is that it was originally thought as Negretta. At least it was sold to, or given to, Marius as Negretta. And the fig community here in the United States was like, that's not Negretta. But I'm sure in Italy or somewhere else in the world, it probably could be Negretta. It's just that here in the general consensus of the fig community, it's not Negretta, but it's probably very similar to Negretta, and it's um, thought to be believed as a uh, Violet de Bordeaux type. And this is my first year getting fruit off of it. I can tell you that it behaves like a Violet de Bordeaux. The fruit, the immature fruit kind of looks like a Violet de Bordeaux. The leaf structure kind of looks like a Violet de Bordeaux. Look here. This leaf is somewhat similar to a Violet de Bordeaux, I guess. You know, maybe, right? Maybe. Kinda, you see it? So, could be. But, I'm unconvinced, and the figs I've had so far, this is probably the sixth fig, maybe the fifth fig I harvested off of this tree. Quite small not similarly sized to a Violet de Bordeaux. Has the neck of a Violet de Bordeaux, the coloring of a Violet de Bordeaux. The immature figs don't remind me of a Violet de Bordeaux when they're ripening. At least my Petit Albique doesn't remind me of my Petit Albique. Put some air layers on this tree. I thought it'd be a very valuable variety to have. I really like the Violet de Bordeaux types in general. It's, you can see here it's getting affected by rust, but that's Really all of my trees at this time of year, you know, you can see it all throughout the canopy under, underneath here. The trees are just very close together. But anyway, the fruit doesn't remind me of a Violet de Bordeaux that I've tasted so far. And then I picked the out exterior does. I think this variety, for whatever reason, is having a, a big problem in its immature stage. Trying to... It's trying to get out of this immaturity stage and and I think maybe an evaluation this soon is maybe um, is really not that great of a source of information but you know here is the first fig I think I have that's could be a representation of this variety the the figs before really were not forming well they didn't seem to taste all that great the colors on the interior seem to be off. I think it really was just an immaturity thing. And finally, I have a fig here that looks like something that might be worth eating and representative of this variety. Again, this is probably my fifth or sixth fig off of this tree. It seems very productive, especially for its size, its location. It seemed like a, it seemed like a variety worth growing. You'll notice here on the uh, stems of the leaves, it kind of has the reddish appear to them. Also the buds in here also have a red, a reddish blush to them. Even the tips, the growing tips are red. Uh, and that's what Negretta is said to have. So it's just strange to me. The other Negretta that we've been circulating throughout the US has black, has white specks on it. It's a very black fig and it has white specks, this variety does not. So, uh, hmm. let's cut it open. See, now there's something wrong with this tree, and I think it's just an immaturity issue. The interior color is off. It's supposed to be a dark red. It's supposed to be similar to a Violet de Bordeaux. This doesn't look like a Violet de Bordeaux. Um, it even kind of has a cavity here on the left fig, a slight cavity. The figs I tasted off this, tastes like a berry though what's weird because it doesn't look like it's a berry fig and I think maybe maybe it just has something to do with the shading of the figs below the tree you know all the figs are below the canopy of the tree not really getting a whole lot of light I really don't know what the story is here guys but uh let's just try it and you know we're under the assumption this is a first year fig it's immature but let's give it a try.
See, it tastes very similar to a Vado de Bordeaux. That, this fig definitely has tasted to us, tasted similar to a Vado de Bordeaux. There are lots of Vado de Bordeaux types that I've tried. This is like spot on, so it's kind of acidic. It has a nice berry flavor to it. Pretty jammy, very jammy, moist, juicy, not watery. It has a pretty concentrated flavor. The fig was dried on the tree, so if it doesn't have a concentrated flavor, I don't know what to say. It's not a, it's not a winner at that point, but this fig's a winner. And I can honestly say, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try it again next year. Obviously, I'm gonna have more figs throughout the year, but um, we're gonna see what, what the deal is with this tree. And, I bet you the next year that the interior color changes and perhaps if I put it in a different location, it'll do better. Um, but overall, Negretta Unknown is a productive variety. Definitely productive. Um, it seems to ripen mid-season. Um, the eyes closed. It's probably a winner here in the Northeast, honestly. If it is a Violet de Bordeaux type, like I think it is, it's definitely a winner here. So. That's a Negretta Unknown. I'd probably give it some. I'd probably give it a eight out of ten. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys.